What is going on YouTube? Lamont at large today coming to you from the Calvary Cemetery here in Youngstown, Ohio. On this rainy day, I'm here at this very cemetery to visit the grave of one Michael Patrick Bailon. You more than likely have never heard of his name, nor have you ever seen him in any TV shows, any movies, anything of that sort. However, you do know the iconic character that he played in the movie E.T. And, of course, he played E.T. Now, brushing over his life really quickly, he was born here in Youngstown, Ohio. Graduated high school. He went to Youngstown University where he took speech and drama. Now, as a young man getting out of school, you're going to have to pay the bills. So one of his many jobs says he was a bouncer at a bowling alley. I don't know how that works, but hey, why not? He was also a basketball coach at an elementary school and a job that he had that it was a serious job and it would have been his career. He was a dispatcher for the sheriff's department out here in Youngstown, Ohio. Now, fast forward he was at a Little Persons of America convention when he was discovered by a talent scout and he was asked, hey, would you like to try out for a comedy that we're filming called Under the Rainbow? He said, sure, why not? He went in there, gave it his best, and he got the part. Out of 400 people, they picked 150. He was one of them. And in that movie, he did that. He did some other stuff, and of course, later on, he was cast as the role of E.T. Now, here's how that worked. Uh, E.T., of course, one of the biggest grossing uh, movies of all time. Uh, it was actually the biggest grossing movie of all time until Jurassic Park came out. I think it's already grossed almost $800 million. So E.T. was... Four different puppets. Uh, each puppet that was built to control E.T. did a certain function. Uh, one puppet would move its arms. Uh, one puppet would turn its le uh, legs, its arms, its uh, head, so forth and so on. And for all of the scenes where they would have to show E.T. kind of not really walking, but kind of trudging across the floor would be played by Michael here. So he would put on this costume... It was made out of some polyurethane material and rubber. It was very, very, very uncomfortable. It weighed almost 40 pounds. It weighed as much as he did. So practically all the scenes that you see where E.T. is moving across the floor, it was played by Michael. Uh, he was very loved here in the Youngstown community. He passed away. He had caught a bout of pneumonia. And he died from complications of a blood infection after he had that bout of pneumonia. And I believe he is right here, guys. This is the grave. Michael Patrick Bailon. I've been meaning to visit this guy's grave. I was out here last time, about three years ago. My van broke down, and I wanted to come visit his grave. But the uh, van was fixed before I got a chance to come out here, so I just had to get going because I had to get back to work. But... Nonetheless, it's it just a, uh, a very uh, interesting story this man had, and he only lived to be 35 years of age. So, if anybody out there, next time you watch the movie E.T., uh, this man was uh, the person that played that character pretty much. All right, rest in peace to Michael Patrick Bailon, and he is buried next to... His father on one side, that's Michael Bailon Sr. And Esther, his mother. All right, guys.
The mine at large, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch up with you on the next one. Peace out.